Hi, I'm Katie Couric and welcome to Eye to Eye. Potentially serious concussions are the third most common injury in college football, according to the NCAA. CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta, a CBS News contributor, spoke to Indiana University's head football trainer about a high-tech helmet that can help detect a concussion. So, Brian, again, a player takes a hit on the field. It sends a signal through these sensors to your computer, and if it sees, exceeds a certain threshold, you get a page. Correct. After a over a 98G impact, will alert us by a page at that player. What do you do at that point? We first thing we do is we look at it as a staff is did we do we believe the impact is real? Because as you know, football players in anger coming off the field or you know in exhaustion will sometimes drop their helmets, and we will give a drop signal like it's a dropped helmet. Now, say it was an impact. We'll go over to player, this time player 70, and we'll ask him, John, are you okay? Are you feeling all right? You took a large hit, you know, are you experiencing any problems? If he says, no, I'm, I'm fine, you know, do you, do you know where you are? Are you dizzy, you woozy? We'll allow that player to go back in the game. It doesn't mean they come out. And if he says, no, I'm having a little trouble, I'm nauseous, I'm dizzy, I've got a headache. Well, then we'll take that player and we'll further evaluate him through a series of, of tests we use to evaluate concussions um, through not only ourselves but through our, our team physician um, who's on the sidelines for games and practice. My, my impression is football players are warriors. They're right. always going to say, hey, we're okay. Is there ever a number that comes back that you say, no questions asked, this guy's coming out? There's never, there's, this never takes a place of, of our own diagnostic ability. This doesn't replace that. It adds to it. Now, that's kind of meant to help in that warrior mentality. So if we look at 70, you know, he can't just take a big hit and then just go back in and pretend nothing's wrong. We know he took a hit. So we go over and we look at him. We look in his eyes. We see if it's glassed over. And then we watch him throughout the next play. Is he going the right way? Is he, is he doing the right assignments? Or is he completely going the wrong way in the play? Is he running toward the opponent's bench? What, what is he doing? The helmet, how it's fit is no differently. It's just installed right into the player's helmet. So this sits in just this like this. This sits in just like this. It's Velcroed in. Um, the players, players don't even really feel the, the sensors on their head because it doesn't, it just kind of rests on the head. It gotcha. doesn't influence the fit of the helmet whatsoever. We don't change how we fit the helmet. We don't change how what the players wear under their helmet. It's identical to a player that would not have one. You're measuring how quickly a head is accelerating or decelerating, where the helmet is. Onto the, the head, into the helmet. So these are accelerometers. They measure head acceleration inside the helmet. And that's valuable information for you. Right, that basically through an algorithm that translates into g-force, which is how much force is a player receiving or giving on a, on a hit.